Retired pro football players are again accusing the NFL of putting profits ahead of their health. More than 500 joined a lawsuit against the league today, claiming it illegally supplied them with pain-killing narcotics so they could continue to play despite injuries. Some say they were never told they had injuries. All of this, they say, led to serious long-term health problems, including drug addiction. The suit comes less than a year after the NFL agreed to pay $765 million to settle suits accusing the league of concealing the risks of head injuries. Jim Axelrod has details of the new accusations. Jeremy Newberry played eight years at center for the San Francisco 49ers. According to the lawsuit, the 38-year-old suffers from renal failure, high blood pressure, and violent headaches because of all the pain medication he was given by team doctors and trainers to get him on the field. Some games, I'm taking two or three Vicodin before the game, two or three Vicodin at halftime, taking a shot of Toradol before the game, and then getting both shoulders, hand shot up before the game. The lawsuit alleges the NFL has illegally and unethically substituted pain medications for proper health care to keep the NFL's tsunami of dollars flowing. Steven Silverman is the player's lawyer. Our players were shot up like cattle, they were brought to market, and then discarded like pieces of meat. The league does have a ban on the use of painkillers without a prescription, but there's no clear policy and oversight on how team doctors provide the drugs. It's the same story everywhere. This is a NFL culture, not just a team by team thing. Newberry is joined by seven other players, including Hall of Famer Richard Dent and Super Bowl champion quarterback Jim McMahon. He claims medical staff never told him he had broken his neck and instead just kept giving him more pills. His lawyer is seeking class action status for the case, saying there are more than 500 other former players who suffered from addiction or long-term health problems caused by the drugs. We have been in touch with the NFL several times during the course of the day. A spokesman tells us they have not been served with the suit yet. And so without a chance to review it, they will have no comment, Scott. So, Jim, what are the players asking for? Well, a couple of things. They want to be compensated for their pain and suffering. They want the cost of their long-term health care to be covered. But they also want a system put in place that would put an end to what they see as this abusive practice. Jim, thanks very much.